And this morning I'm talking to an individual who has done some fantastic things through their organization. Uh, of course, I'm talking about uh, Perna Ricard, South Africa, who through their hashtag Keep the Spirit initiative has donated a whopping 2 million rand towards the hospitality industry and joining me on the line now to talk about what that will look like the uh, mechanisms how it will unroll why they've done it is Werner Fosloe who is the sales director for Perno Ricard South Africa Werner thank you very much for joining us on our social news cast Hello Sam and good afternoon to all your listeners Werner, what a massive gesture from, from you guys under the hashtag Keep the Spirit. Just talk to me quickly about how it came about. What was the driving principle behind um, putting 2 million rand towards the hospitality industry? Um, Pam, you know, we're going through very difficult times and the hospitality industry is probably one of the industries that's the hardest hit, um, you know, with the, all the, the legislation and the lockdown. Um, period and, and the opportunity or the lack of opportunity for them to actually do business. So, you know, we at Perno Rico South Africa, you know, put our heads around uh, the table and thought to ourselves, you know, let's try and do something for the guys that's really um, battling most under these circumstances. For me, it's just amazing because, you know, Werner, you know as well as I do that in this COVID-19 conversation, we're talking about so many different things, so many different people. And then for you guys to really think about the other guys, like the bartenders, the waitrons that will be affected by, it's not only the owner of the restaurant who's affected by it, but it's actually the people working within the establishment thems themselves. What is What was that kind of conversation like? Um, just to say, guys, we actually have to do something. Um, Sam, it was actually very easy. You know, we sat down and we said, you know, everybody seems to forget about these people that's on the ground, you know, doing the basic jobs that we all take every day just for granted. Um, and we sat down and we said, how can we actually ensure or do our part in the bigger scheme of things just to uh, show us support? You know, these are the guys that um, support us every day. They are the ones that, that help getting our brands out to the consumers. So it was really for us just uh, a very easy conversation to have and to actually get to a point where, where we got the idea together to try and, and support these guys during the difficult times. Now, I know that obviously as a brand, as, as a business, as a, a company that employs people, you must have had various conversations with, with these individuals. Um, just what, what is their sense on the ground now? It's, it's quite difficult to imagine because we're all in our own spaces. We all have to deal with our own stuff, Werner. But th just from the conversations that you've had, how is the hospitality industry holding up at the moment? Um, it's tough. It's really tough for the guys out there. You know, they don't actually know what tomorrow is going to bring. Um, so there's a lot of uncertainty. Um, and a lot of these uh, outlet owners, barmen, waiters are our friends. You know, we see them often enough to build relationships with them. And, um, you know, these guys are really, really going through a tough time. Um, and from our side, for no record, it's just a question of saying, you know what, uh, thanks for all the, the good times, you know, it's the uh, support you gave us when things were going well. But now it's our turn to actually help you when, you know, the, the going is getting tough. Now, that is, this might be a really dif a difficult question to answer. And it might be even an unfair question to you as well. But... Just maybe from your insight as a leader within this space, what, what is this industry bleeding at the moment? What is, what is this going to look like after another two weeks uh, of this lockdown till the end of the month? And if there's another extension, are we potentially looking at thousands of, of, of people losing their jobs? Sam, um, in every uh, you know, possible situation, we're hoping for the best. And, and I think... Um, you know, we, we need to understand that the, uh, uh, the dilemma or the uh, uh, pandemic we're dealing with is, is, you know, something that nobody actually seen uh, or could have predicted. Um, so we really um, not sure. Uh, from our side, we, we are just going to try and do our best to help and support as many of our customers as possible um, and to hopefully get out on the other side even stronger. Um, and that's the best we can really hope for. Now, two million is a is a is a big number. How are you guys going to support those individuals under the hashtag Keep the Spirit? What will that physically look like? Um. So what we've done, uh, Sam, is we created an app um, that essentially 
allows barmen um, and waiters to register on. Um, the app is called Snappy. And um, from that uh, point of view, they register. We get their contact details through the outlet owners to verify that it actually is going to uh, employees that is working for them. Uh, once they've registered, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, we try and keep it interactive. There's a short brand video um, that is showing with some interesting facts around uh, different brands. They then get to answer three questions. And after that, they qualify to um, to receive the, the support that we give them. And I mean, look, I, ca- I can only imagine that two million will only go go that far. Um, how how are the partners chipping in or is just at this stage, just a Pernod Ricard kind of initiative? At this stage, it's just a Pernod Ricard initiative. Um, we are actually having chats with uh, various other uh, organizations and, and other companies that might want to get on board and help us to extend. You know, we initially only planned it for a three-week period. Uh, that was the original lockdown. But I'm also happy to say that um, we decided to continue for another two weeks. So, you know, we've not put a limit on um, our in, our investment. Um, it's now more a question of supporting the farm and until the lockdown is, is, um, is finished, you know, and the guys can go back to work. So, so I just want to get this clear. It was two million rand at the beginning. That was the initial, um, uh, the initial uh, fund that you put together. But now you've committed as Spinner Recast South Africa to extend it for however long it needs to. Uh, this lockdown will be in place. Uh, yes. Um, so we're going to extend it for uh, definitely the next uh, two weeks, or you know, the following two weeks of lockdown. So it will definitely continue to run until the end of April. Um, at which point we will reassess. Um, I think. You know, some of the numbers that come through has really seen um, how needed it is um, to date. Uh, If I can give you the latest numbers, uh, we have 797 waiters and barmen already uh, registered um, and who has received um, support from us. And we're hoping to increase that um, by the end of this week to over a thousand. So, you know, we're going to monitor and see how long we can sustain it and uh, continue to support the barmen and the waiters during this uh, lockdown period. Better very quickly, can you, can you disclose to us how, what that um, financial commitment looks like towards the, the bartenders and the waitrons? Yes, I mean, um, uh, at this point of time, we've allocated 500 rand to each barman each week. Um, so once they've uh, obviously registered on Snappy and they've gone through the process, uh, answered the three questions, um, the money gets paid into a virtual wallet, which they can then cash out immediately into their own bank accounts. So currently we are, um, uh, like I said, we've already made payments last week to 797 uh, barmen. That's fantastic. Vernon Forsler, thank you very much for your time. Uh, stay safe and uh, and keep, uh, keep the spirit alive, man. Thank you so much, Sam. And the same to all your listeners. You know, it's a tough time, but... Uh, you know, I said Pernod Ricard is, is going to gear ourselves and hopefully we can just get out of um, this tough, difficult time stronger. Thank you very much. Thank you. For more stories like these, go to www.social-tv.co.za. Subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on our social mediums.